Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the PCV valve, you can see, on this here Honda Civic. This is a procedure that should be done about every 30 to 45,000 miles. So when you use the links in the description below to purchase the PCV valve for your vehicle, I would highly recommend that you purchase a couple of them, two or three of them, just so you have the next like 100,000 miles of PCV PCV valves already planned out. So put them in the garage, put them in your uh, center console with a glove box, something like that, but you'll always have them. The PCV valve is a very common part that is overlooked during routine maintenance. A lot of people just replace them when they do the 100,000 mile service or the 90K service or whatever. I get a lot of people when I help them do that service that they have never done the PCV valve and we do it at that time. So this is something I really highly recommend to keep up on. What does the PCV valve do, you might be asking? So in the engine, you have blow-by from the combustion process. On your pistons, you have rings that seal up the chamber, and over time, those get worn down and you get what's called blow-by. The gases in the combustion chamber enter the engine in the oil case, and all those gases that get built up, if your PCV valve goes bad, they just stay inside the engine case, and they stagnate and cause a bunch of gunk, and you blow oil seals, you burn a lot of oil in that case. So that would be what would be happening if your PCV valve got stuck in the closed position. Now, if it got stuck in the open position, that would cause lean codes. So if you have an oxygen sensor code that's a lean code, or if you're having just some weird air fuel ratio problems, it could be because the PCV valve is stuck open. So that's a couple possibilities. And did I even go through what this thing actually does? So when the combustion process happens, that blow by I explained to you, that's built up in the engine. When vacuum is given to the PCV valve, it opens up and allows gases to flow through the PCV valve, positive crankcase ventilation valve, and into the intake to go through the combustion process through the catalytic converter, cleaned up in that process, and out of the tailpipe. So this is a pretty important part to your vehicle. Let's go ahead and replace it on this 2014 Honda Civic, but this will be the same for a ton of years that will be listed below. And if you need a PCV valve or the tools to do the process of changing this, look for links in the description below as well for those. So let's get going on this. It should take us about 10 to 15 minutes to get this thing done and won't take long. While you're watching, like, subscribe, and share. The likes really help in the algorithm process lately, so make sure you smash that like button while you're here. I will be uploading emissions locations videos on this. We did a HED, HED, we did a LED headlight conversion on this. It's kind of hard to see the headlights, but I'll give you an idea of what needs to be removed to replace the headlights uh, in some other videos that are to be coming up. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Let's get going on this fast process of changing the PCV valve on this Honda Civic. The PCV valve is located right here on the passenger side, back side of the engine between the engine and the firewall. It's real easy to replace. I'm using some basic pliers that everybody probably has at home. Try to get you the best views as possible. So first, we're gonna take off this hose clamp right here. Just slide it up on the hose. You can see now it's free. And now the hose should come right off. But, so you don't ruin this hose or rip it or anything, I would highly recommend trying to grab the bottom of the hose and pulling up on it. Let's see. This one actually came right off, so pretty easy. If you have an old hose, there might be cracks on here that if you do find, you should replace this hose as well. This hose just goes from here at the PCV valve up to the intake right here. So it's a real small hose. You should be able to find this online fairly easy uh, or at your local OEM parts dealer place, uh, like the dealership or O'Reilly's or a parts store like that if you need it right now. There will be a link in the description below to purchase this hose if you need it, but it's pretty short. Just going from right here at the intake over to the PCV valve. Now that the hose is off, you're going to need a 17 millimeter socket to take the actual PCV valve off. So right here, this is a 17 millimeter hex head. So a 6.17 would be preferable or a 12 point if you have it, but 6.17. 17 millimeter socket for this PCV valve. 
Going a little overkill on this one. I got a half inch 17 on a 3 8 socket, but I was trying to get you the best view I could. So you can see socket right on to the PCV valve. Now, when we tighten up the new PCV valve, we're going to tighten it to 18 foot pounds. This one's on pretty tight, probably never been replaced. Oh. Took a little bit of oomph to get that one off. Got it loose. Hopefully it gets off with my hands. I can. There it is. Now to test this thing, you should be able to suck on it, but you should not be able to blow on it. This one tests just fine, actually. So, got 100,000 miles on this car, factory PCV valve, and still, it's still good. That's the one thing about Hondas, they last forever, but I would still make sure you replace this pretty often. Every 30 to 45,000 miles, like I said before, they could get gunked up. If you could see inside this one, getting a little bit of blow-by gas built up in there, or gunk built up in there, I should say, so. It's worth replacing. Another thing too, I was wondering if I should put some type of gasket sealer or something on these threads. And you can see this one doesn't look like it has anything on the threads that are actually sealing this thing up. So there's no sealer on it. There's no gasket I see on here like a crush washer or anything. So I'm just gonna go metal to metal like it was when I took it out of the hole. All right, new PCV valve. Insert it into the hole. So again, this is your positive crankcase ventilation valve. You always want to start it with your fingers. Never use like your ratchet or anything to start it. Because if you cross thread it, it should be, or it could be fairly easy to cross thread these things. So be very careful when putting them in. Now we're going to tighten this down to 18 foot pounds. Like I said before, I'm using a 3 8 socket wrench to get this done. Nope, a 3 8 torque wrench to get this done. I already have it set to 18 foot pounds. And that's it. Already at 18 foot pounds. 3 8 torque wrench, 17 millimeter deep socket. I'm using a six point. And I use two six inch extensions. So a one foot extension would probably do you pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and just put that hose back on and get the hose clamp back seated properly. Using basic tools again, still using basic tools, I should say. Oops. It's always hard to get you guys a good view of what I'm doing. It'd be easier to use needle nose pliers, but I try to do my best to use what you're gonna use at home. That's it.